Okay, let's talk about the FTCE. And uh, certainly if you're watching this video, you know what the FTC is, at least that's what I'm going to assume. And specifically, we're gonna be talking about the middle grades math five through nine exam. So um, again, uh, if you're watching this video, I assume that you're going to be aspiring to be a Florida teacher, teaching somewhere in the middle grades, five through nine mathematics, or at least to have that particular certification. And so a little bit about myself, I am, I'm a math teacher, middle school, high school, and we taught some college. Uh, I didn't take the FTC. I did take the Praxis exam many years ago. But even having a degree in mathematics and a master's degree, you have to work hard to pass these exams. So, you know, this is a professional exam. Teaching is a profession. Uh, so you don't want to take anything for chance. You really need to study for these exams. And <clears throat> the mathematics on the FTCE, uh, this particular exam, you know, are... Um, if you take a look at what they expect you to know, it's a considerable amount of math. So even if you were quote unquote good at math, you know, your your frame of reference is, oh yeah, I, I was really good at math. I, I got A's in it or I was strong at it in high school or whatever the case is, it, that's kind of irrelevant. If you've been away from math um, for some time, you need to go back and review, okay? And I'm speaking as a math teacher. If I'm going to teach a particular topic, I need to be 100% up to speed on things. So just a you know, word of caution. Now, if you find that you like my particular teaching style, I actually have a uh, FTC middle grades math uh, five through nine prep course. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. Uh, that's really comprehensive. I think you'll really like it. But with that being said, I want to really impress upon a tip that you really need to know for this exam and other exams. But especially obviously you're focused on this one now the big thing about this exam which is a real advantage is that it's multiple choice and I believe if I uh, have my details of the exam fresh in my memory it's like 75 multiple uh, choice questions so this is awesome when it comes to um, mathematics at least you can it depends on well, it depends on how um, the questions are structured, but generally speaking, there's some real opportunities uh, in multiple choice questions uh, in mathematics, okay? So I wanna go over one example at least, maybe we'll do another, and, um, and then I'll make my point. So you really wanna keep this in mind when you take any multiple choice exam, obviously we're talking about this particular exam. So let's take in a situation, maybe something like this. Um, let me just write it out real quick. All right, so let's say, yeah, give me one quick second. Maybe I should have wrote this out in advance, but you'll see here, I'll make my point. All right, so let's just use these three options, A, B, and C, and, um, here we have a particular equation. Now let's say you come across this question and you're like, okay, I'm not quite sure what to do. You Maybe you recognize it as a quadratic equation. Here's what a lot of students uh, do, okay? And a lot of people in general, uh, when they look at a math question, their brain kicks in and they they, they stop thinking because you're test anxiety is up and your your focus your focus is so much on getting the right answer that you'll look at this question and what a lot of people will do they'll go immediately to try to solve the question now that's a that's good right that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to solve it and get the answer and then select your answer okay that's what you're supposed to do let's actually put another one here none of the above okay so let me just, I'm just kind of just curious. Do you think you know where I'm going with my point here? Okay, the tip that I want you to think about. All right, so maybe you do, maybe you don't. But here's the thing, a lot of folks, okay, will look at this and they'll say, okay, how do I solve this problem? Then I'm gonna get my solution, I'm gonna get my answer, right? And then I'm gonna go identify it and select whatever the case is, okay? Now, What's the problem with that? Well, when you have a multiple choice question like this, oftentimes the time it takes to solve a problem like this is 
considerable. Remember, you have you're under time constraints. So in um, on mathematics questions, especially when you have an equation, when you see an, an equation and solutions, multiple choice solutions, you really need to um, consider using the solutions to plug them into the equation to see which one is the answer. Okay, so in other words, for example, here I have two um, options A and B. Both of them have two as possible solutions. Let's just quickly plug this in to this equation and see if this is a true solution. So I can go negative 3, 2 squared minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now if this is true, all right, then obviously I'm going to have to uh, look at these other solutions. So let's just take a look at this real quick. So this is negative 3 times 4 minus 2 plus 1 and it, it, just by looking at it you can see it's not going to work out but that's okay negative 12 this is going to be um, negative 2 plus 1 negative 14 plus 1 is going to be negative uh, 13 okay so no way negative 13 is not equal to 0 so 2 cannot be a solution so the, uh, because 2 can't be a solution immediately eliminates those two choices all right then all you have to do is go ahead and just check another value let's say 5 or 7 and sometimes I'm not mm, I'm kind of telling you can do this all well, depends upon your ability you can look at say well if I plugged in a 5 is there any way I'm going to be able to get a zero here okay for example and you can do you can plug in the work but sometimes if you're confident enough with your kind of mental math skills you can plug it in you see there's no way I'm gonna be able to make this equal to zero so the co correct answer uh, here would be D none of the above all right so you have to you know really be highly focused on the purpose of this exam what's the purpose of this exam okay I'm asking you a question all right. Now, obviously, for you personally, it's, it all depends on who who is answering the question. If it's the if it's the state of Florida, the purpose of the exam is to assess you to uh, to see that you have the skills and to to certify you. But what's your purpose of taking an exam? Your purpose is like a mission. It's a battle. Your purpose is to get as many points as possible on this exam. <laughs> get as many correct. You don't have to go about like oh I need to demonstrate to myself that I can solve this and then you know I'll just feel better about getting the right answer by showing that I can solve a quadratic equation yada 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 listen your mission is to get as many points in the shortest period of time so you got to use every advantage possible all right and on multiple choice math questions this is one of the best things you need to keep in mind now these also work with inequalities and all types of equations okay and that's why you uh, you know one you need to study either way for the FTC uh, middle grades math 5 through 9 exam you, you really you're gonna have to study for it but you couple your strong math skills plus excellent test taking strategy and focus in advance you're you're almost guaranteed to, to, to do well and you don't want to just do you know minimally well you know just get across the finish line this is something that you know you're going to be expected to know remember you're going to be teaching middle school math that's out you know algebra is in there and everything else you really have to have a command of this knowledge but when you're sitting taking this exam your mission is just to get your points to get your certification and and then go from there okay and you want to be intelligent about it so again I'm being redundant this is just one particular example so keep this in mind as you do your you know practice problems and uh, things along those matters it's a tremendous uh, tip that all too many students forget when they when they're given an exam what happens is you know people's minds switch into this test taking anxiety mode and they you know they're not managing their time well and they're not using you know uh, smart tactics and this is what this particular video is about all right so let's go and wrap it up um, Again, if you like my teaching style, I literally have hundreds of uh, videos on my YouTube channel. Hopefully, you'll consider subscribing. Uh, I would definitely help you out with this particular exam. Again, I have a super comprehensive um, course 
just for this FTC uh, middle grades uh, math test. You can check that out. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. Hey, if you like this uh, tip, you like this video, definitely I would appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. How is your um, test preparation going? Are you frustrated in a particular way? Are you excited? Are you doing something that you find that works? Do you have more questions? I try to read as many comments as I can on my videos. I do get a lot, which I definitely appreciate. But it's your feedback that lets me know how I'm doing. It also gives me ideas for future videos. But I want to leave you with this. As a math teacher, and just a teacher in general, we need great teachers out there, okay? And I'm also a parent. So um, I want to congratulate you on uh, your efforts to become a teacher. It's a challenging career, and I say challenging because it is challenging. Uh, so I'll leave you with this last little personal uh, thing. I, I was in the Marine Corps. I'm a veteran. I've done a lot of different things, even you know, outside of teaching. Been challenged a lot of ways. I can tell you right now, teaching was one of the most challenging things I've done and I continue to do but it's the most one of the most rewarding things as well because when you're able to help you know a child which will later turn on and somehow you affect the trajectory of life that's where the real rewards of teaching comes in so anyways I hope this video helped you out thanks for your time and have a great day